By some estimates, it's the fourth busiest light rail system in the nation. The Metropolitan Area Express, or MAX, carried more than 39 million passengers in 2018. The system is still expanding, even as TriMet deals with issues including cost, safety, and new technology. I examine the past, the present, and the future of MAX in this week's Where We Live. 145 rail cars, 60 miles of track, and 97 stations with $13 billion of investment around them. TriMet and local government started talking about light rail in the late 70s to deal with the growing pollution problem. The Max Blue Line started rolling between downtown Portland and Gresham in 1986, setting a new course for the region's transportation future. That was the one that sort of had to pave the way and prove to folks that this was a viable way to get around the region. Bob Hastings is a TriMet project manager and historian. We met him in Gresham on Portland's very first Max train, which is still in service. As one of the trains that now crisscross three counties, they travel the red, the blue, the green, the yellow, and the orange lines. The orange, which goes over Tillicum Crossing and into Clackamas County, is the most recent. The 7.3-mile route, completed in 2015, cost $1.5 billion, half of it federal money. For visitors and urban planners, Max helps define Portland. I think like our Portland microbrews and our Oregon wines, they want to bottle that up and take it back to wherever they are. Max operator Jeffrey Flanagan ferries many of the 120,000 passengers who use Max every day. The hardest part about being a Max operator is just making sure that you're alert at all times, especially when you're going through downtown areas. There have been accidents and violent incidents on trains and at several stations. We were looking uh, at our stations with closed circuit televisions, with uniformed uh, folks on the system. I think we're doing a lot more to address that perception of safety that folks have. Now Metro, the regional government, and TriMet are looking to extend MAX to the southwest corridor into Tigard as more people move here. We're demonstrating that it is something that has worked for us as a region and certainly can be part of what we want to do as a future for the city and for the region. Well, TriMet is also moving forward with electronic ticketing and smartphone technology that incorporates other modes of transportation, including Lyft and Uber.